We celebrate today the feast of Saint Andrew, Apostle. Andrew was the brother of Simon Peter and tradition has it that Andrew was martyred on the island of Patros and he was hung on a cross that was shaped like the alphabet X in English. That is why that cross which is shaped as the alphabet X is known as Saint Andrew's cross. In the first reading for the feast which Paul writes to the Romans, Paul is exhorting them to realize that every single one is called by God to live in one human family. However, in order to draw people to that family, Paul says we require a preacher. And if there is no preacher, they will not hear the message, they will not hear the good news. And the good news is that God loves unconditionally, that God forgives unconditionally, that God is merciful unconditionally, that God expects nothing from us, but only gives and keeps giving. When we realize that this God is a generous God, then we want to give in return. When we realize that this God has forgiven us, we want to forgive in return. When we realize that this God is merciful to us, we want to be merciful in return. And Paul speaks about a preacher who will communicate this message. And that preacher in the gospel text of today is Andrew. Andrew was at his work. He was a fisherman along with his brother and they were casting their net into the sea. And the reason why they were casting their net is to draw fish in. When Jesus encounters them, he calls to them, he invites them to follow him. And he says to them, if you follow me, I will make you fishers of men and women. Now you are fishing fish and you are drawing fish into the net. If you follow me, I will make you draw men and women. I will make you draw the whole of humanity to the one God, the one Father. And Andrew hears this invitation. And Andrew responds to this invitation. And Andrew becomes, by the grace of the Lord, a fisher of men and women. Andrew was true to his vocation. Andrew was fearless in his vocation. Andrew let nothing deter him. Let nothing get him down. And so Andrew, in keeping with what Paul says to the Romans, became that preacher, became that communicator of God's unconditional love. Whenever he met people, this is all that he told them. That it did not matter their past. It did not matter who they were. It did not matter how many sins they committed. There was always scope for everyone and anyone to come back to God. He would draw them not only by the words that he spoke, but by the life that he lived, which was in imitation of his Lord. Through his proclamation, through his example, he was able to draw a number of people to the realization that they were one human family. As we celebrate the feast of St. Andrew, as we celebrate his proclamation through word and deed, let us take an example and ask ourselves whether we will follow in his example, which is the example of of the Lord. When I communicate God to others, let me communicate a God who is universal and not parochial, 
who is forgiving and not unforgiving, who is merciful and not unmerciful. Let me do this. With my words, yes. But more importantly, as Andrew did, with my life. And let me be fearless in the manner in which I act this out. Amen. A very happy feast of St. Andrew to everyone.